Y'all see what's in my hand right now. These were the latest 11s to come out around the December holiday. Now, your boy, Mr. Telefero, I don't get every Jordan. I'm not that guy, but I do try to cop these and a few other pairs sporadically throughout the year. Am I the only one, I cannot be the only one out there, that has found it increasingly more difficult to not only cop these, but any pair of Jordans or Nikes that release on that sneakers app like, bruh, I say since the pandemic started, it feels like if you're not on that website and get confirmed, like the first three seconds some shoes drop, you ain't getting them on that sneakers app, bruh. And then obviously it's tough to get shoes in store because of the pandemic lines are crazy you got to distance yourself it's just crazy nowadays to cop shoes bro and there might be some type of intel on what's going on at nike as one of their longtime executives for over two decades ann herbert has stepped down because of her son's resale sneaker company on monday it was confirmed to fox business that nike vice president and general manager of the north american division again her name was ann herbert she's stepping down apparently after her son joe herbert used online bots to purchase 600 pairs of adidas yeezy boost 350 zion sneakers within seconds of the shoes being released again obviously y'all understand the conflict of interest with her working at Nike, her credit card was used to purchase these kicks. Her son owns a sneaker resale company. He's clearly using bots to get his hands on shoes to resell, which apparently he made about $20,000 in profit after he bought about $132,000 worth of Yeezys. Obviously, Adidas, Nike, two prominent sneaker companies. You can understand why that puts a little bit of a, the chinks in the armor there. If one person is doing it, you got a lot of people, a lot of customers who are thinking, what other things are going on between Nike and more notable resale markets? A Nike spokesperson did try to clean it up to Bloomberg, pretty much letting it be known that Ann had told Nike in 2018, everything they wanted to know about her son and his resale company. As a matter of fact, Joe Herbert shared information about upcoming online releases to pay in subscribers on a chat group that he had. And he claimed that this had nothing to do with inside information from his mother, but instead he said because he lived in Portland, Oregon, and he knew some savvy people in the business, not his mom, it was easy to find out when and where shoes would be released. Quote, if you know the right people here, this is the city to sell shoes. The right people can give you access to stuff like that. A normal person would not have access to like i said man nike's got some explaining to do because there are going to be a lot of people out there like me who are going to think if this executive son has a resale company i feel like even that should be illegal right like that's too close to the hip to me so what if another executive on the lows got a kid or somebody close to him maybe it's not their son maybe it's just a friend a quote unquote colleague whatever if they're giving that information to people and they know when shoes are going to be released, what bots to use that work the best. There's a reason why it's tough for guys like me and you to get our hands on shoes like this. I am following this one. Y'all can expect a follow-up story from your boy. I am very interested in Nike and their apparent conflict of interest with this Ann Herbert having a son owning a resale company in which he was using bots to buy shoes this is something that we all kind of felt like was happening but now we have some type of confirmation about it as she has resigned after two decades with the company